They asked for help after a deadly tornado devastated their community. But now, nearly four years later, a state audit claims Morgan County leaders can't account for hundreds of thousands of dollars in federal disaster aid. The scathing audit also claims to have found evidence of waste, fraud, and abuse after the 2012 tornado. Victor Puente takes a look at the audit first on Fox. The report is 65 pages long. In it, the outgoing state auditor claims the fiscal court of Morgan County failed to have any oversight over the way former judge executive Tim Conley handled the county's money following a tornado that destroyed much of West Liberty. The current judge executive, who took over in January of 2015, says they're doing their best to recover. It really wasn't a surprise, because uh, we knew nothing about it. I mean, we didn't know what they were going to find. Or... Conley is serving a seven-year prison sentence for accepting kickbacks from a contractor in the months following the tornado. Citizens of Morgan County, I think, thought of him fondly, you know, and uh, was surprised that things turned out the way they did. I know I was. One of the issues that audit raised was a new concession stand here at the city pool. They said that federal funds could be used to repair a structure, but it appears to have been used to improve this structure. The new judge executive said they weren't sure exactly how that money was spent because all of that paperwork was taken by the FBI as part of their investigation into Tim Conley. The um, FBI didn't turn our, the records over to us. They said it was an ongoing investigation. Now, for, take that for whatever it means. The auditors claim the county didn't follow federal regulations for expenditures, and in some cases, the county employees created invoices that the auditors couldn't prove the work was actually done. The report also said at least $779,000 worth of government contracts for debris removal didn't have enough detail and $240,000 in expenses didn't have contracts at all. Franklin, a former banker, says they've made changes since he took office, such as a finance office and more scrutiny for his position. I'm going to go through the audit and try to answer all the questions that they uh, ask and uh, make some kind of prevention to, for it not to happen again. And those questions may continue. The auditor's office turned their report over to the Attorney General, the Department of Military Affairs, the Department of Agriculture, and the FBI. Victor Puente for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. The audit also says Morgan County owes a vendor more than $900,000. The vendor is now suing the county for that money.